Uh, we're just going to go quickly over um, the flow of the water coming in from the supply line, which is from the local municipality. So the water is pre-treated at another plant and then it's pipelined into here. So it comes in through this piping, through this pressure reducing valve. So it's a higher pressure on this side and this knocks down the pressure so that it slowly fills up the clear well when needed. And these two valves determine what side of the clear well it would go to. So this one would be closed and this is the open. So it's going to the back of the clear well. So once it sits in the clear well, it flows into a distribution chamber. So these would be distribution pumps. These are submersible pumps. And then these are fire pumps. So these would be used for um, when you open a hydrant and you need to fight a fire, these would kick in to add extra pressure. So the clear well would be split in half right here. So one side would have a distribution pump and a fire pump. Then this side too would have a fire pump and distribution pumps. So once those distribution pumps, they pull up water and then they pressure up the line going out of the building and then out to the community. And there's, there's plenty of control valves so that you can isolate sections to repair any of the gauges or the flow meters. Okay, so this is an RO system for a bottle fill located just at the front door of this pump house. The water supplied to the nation is, is pumped through here and it kind of uh, polishes it off. So right off the header of the incoming water, a sample is collected and then goes to the chem scan. And then that chem scan relays the information to the con uh, control screen. And then the control screen adjusts the pumps automatically and then inject the ammonia and chlorine at these two points. And then that boosts it if, if required into the clear well. Then the clear well makes its way to the distribution pumps and distribution pumps out to the community. The type of disinfection used at this pump house is uh, chloramination. So that's a combination of ammonia and chlorine. So this is an online analyzer that samples the incoming water because the incoming water is, is chloraminated. This is kind of the booster system that adds additional ammonia and chlorine. This analyzes um, the amount of ammonia and chlorine and this analyzer sends it to the control screen in the computer room or the office. And then that computer screen adjusts uh, the chemical dosage where they inject additional ammonia and chlorine. The brains of the operation is that control screen. So right here is the control screen. It uh, analyzes the free ammonia, total ammonia, the monochloramines and the total chlorine of the incoming water. And it has a built-in calculation that adjusts the dosage pumps for the ammonia. And you're able to adjust your desired amounts of the monochloramines and the total chlorine and ammonia.